Hey everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to show you how you can create a very subtle background for clean looking holiday cards. Well, actually for any cards. I am going to be featuring new stamps by Purple Onion Designs. If you're watching this in November 20, uh, December 2017, they're still having a sale. So these, uh, the stamps that you get are these red rubber stamps and I adhered it to an acrylic block that has a sheet of tack and peel that's on like a sticky substance, adhere to it permanently. Um, and for stamping, I'm using my favorite things, a licorice hybrid ink, because that works great with Copics, watercolors, and pencils. So I'm just stamping that on some Simon Says Stamp heavy cardstock, because that's um, very nice to work with when you're using Copics. And then I'm just starting to color this in. Um, as usual, I like to go from dark to light, like that's the color progression that I like best. Um, simply because that helps me to ensure I have enough white space left. I don't like to color over everything with the lightest color first because I feel then that the highlights are too dark for my personal taste. Now I already know that I want the card to be very clean, very bright, and that means that the colored images need to pop, like they need to have a lot of contrast, a lot of saturation, a lot of color intensity to pop. So that's why I'm going over this with a second layer. I'm just darkening everything up and on the second layer everything blends very nicely as well. Now when I was coloring in the wood here I realized I needed a darker color even so I came back with a with a darker brown um, and mixed that in as well. And you can see I'm leaving it a little streaky here because that's how wood looks sometimes, right? It's not um, a perfect, you know, if you look at nature, you rarely ever have like perfect color gradients. You usually, you know, sometimes when I look at leaves, I'm like, oh, you know what? I could have colored this better. And then I realize, well, this is nature. Like nature knows what it's doing. So it's okay if it's a little bit streaky sometimes and not completely even colored. So um, if you have trouble with blending your coloring mediums, don't worry, you know, like look, just look at nature. Nature isn't perfect either. I'm just coloring everything in here and I'm trying to use similar colors so I won't overwhelm um, the image. That's why I'm picking the same uh, green for the hats. And here I'm just adding a tiny little bit of gray on the envelope to make it appear as if the flap has some dimension. So the only really intense colors here are going to be the red and the green. I'm using some warm grays here for um, the... Uh, what is it? I don't even know what it's... Hedgehog. That's the English word, hedgehog. So yeah, for the hedgehog here, and then I uh, fuzzy cut this out. Now I'm using some two inch masking tape um, just to create my own masks. And all I'm doing is I'm just um, cutting a wavy line. That's literally all I'm doing. Like I haven't even drawn anything. I'm just cutting a wavy line because that will be my snowdrift. So I'm masking this off. This means everything that is covered by this mask will remain white. Everything um, that is not covered can be colored in. I'm using the Tim Holtz spritzer tool here um, and my Copic markers. Uh, doesn't hurt the Copic markers. You know, just have to be careful when you put them in. And you have to um, use them uh, like to in the 90 degree angle to the paper. And what I'm doing here actually, this is the lightest color that I'm using. That's why you don't really see an effect immediately. Um, I'm kind of starting to spray on the mask and then I'm slowly working my way towards the area of the card that actually should be colored in. The reason for that is, is that I want to have a very subtle gradient. I don't want um, like a ton of color on the background. I just want a little bit. So you can see here when I'm progressing to my middle color, that there's actually quite a lot of color um, uh, on the mask and not that much color on the actual card. But believe me, when you um, lift off the mask, you will see that there is quite a difference beca because you will have absolute clean white contrasting with that tiny little bit of blue. You can see here I'm doing the darkest blue and you can see how much color gets on the mask and just how very little gets on the card. But again, this is going to make a huge difference because um, I'm right now I'm trying to get a very subtle background, not something that is like in your face obvious. And you can see when I lift it uh, up here, you can see that there is this background. You know, it, to me, it's like this snow drift, snow falling in the background. Um, and it's actually really nice. So I'm like to use perfect pearls and water in a mini mister um, to create like a paper, uh, not a paper, like a mixture that is adds shimmer to your project. You just have to be careful when you spritz your project and it's um, like if the water can, if the paper can take much water. So just be careful. 
I'm using my stamp and magic to uh, make sure that my sentiment is straight. A stamp and magic is basically this green thing, which is um, um, has a like has this you know, T-shape and then this piece of acetate. You first stamp on the piece of acetate and then you bring in your, your um, acrylic block and you haven't uh, moved the stamp on the acrylic block. So when you slide it back into this T-shape down there, um, it will be in the exact position that you positioned the, um, this uh, um, acrylic sheet in previously. And you can see I double stamped this even and it's just perfect. There we go, added some foam tape and you could, you know, stop here. You can leave the card as is. It would be, you know, pretty nice. Um, I, I was close to say perfect, but I don't want to. That sounds kind of weird if I say that about my own project. So what I'm doing here, I put some glossy accents on a piece of scrap paper, picking some of it up with sequins from Pretty Pink Posh and then just adhering the sequins to the card because, you know, oh, I can add sequins to pretty much everything actually. Um, and that is the finished card. Here you can see a close-up of the coloring I did of those new stamps by Purple Onion Designs. I think they're just absolutely lovely and the new sentiments um, that, they, that they made available this year um, match the stamps so perfectly and I just, oh, I'm just in love with those images. They're just the right amount of whimsical and cute. It's like not too cute, um, but they are great for coloring. So here's the entire card. I hope you got inspired. I hope you check out the Purple Onion Design stamps. And as I said, if you're watching this in December 2017, they still have a sale going on. So make use of that. Here are some more videos for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.